as you can see I have all kinds of videos on here I hope you like them find them informational enlightening and maybe entertaining please subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of these by giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down thank you this video is put together for new RVers maybe your first experience out hopefully this will help you not forget something because when you do it could be very costly enjoy your RV dealer should have showed you how to crank up and down your antenna you want to make sure your antenna is down and everything secured you always want to make your RV look like home. Well, you don't want it to look like home when you're traveling. So take everything off your cabinets and secure them properly so they won't fall down and break themselves or something else. All shower doors will have a little lock. That's it. Don't know if you can see it, but make sure your shower doors are secure along with your privacy doors will all have some kind of button tab or something snap that right there and then this is secure so this can't slide open if you have a slide out you want to make sure the doors are shut you can imagine the disaster if that is open and your slide out folds in and hits that door. Check all doors to make sure they are properly secured. And if you have a door that is kind of weak in the latch department, we always just put a little, little ball bungee right here. And that will make sure they don't open up going down the road. Decorating your home is a necessity when you're living in it. But you want to make sure things like this are stored away. Because this little guy, he will fall off your wall. So will that little picture. So you want to secure things either with screws, as is this is not going to fall off. Or in that case, that one up there is attached with Velcro. So I can pull it off and change the battery. It won't go nowhere. But some of the stuff, as I said, will fall down and damage stuff. Make sure it's all secure. Make sure your TVs are all secure. They all have some way of locking. This one has little uh, window lockers on them that locks this one in place. Because it can come out and it can tilt around. The one in our bedroom is the same way. Make sure they're all secured also. Some refrigerator doors will have locks on them. Usually up here, some of them you can drop a pin through and it'll lock. This one does not, but it does click when it's locked. You want to make sure they are shut and locked. The refrigerator. You want to turn it off your shore power. You can leave it on automatic and that will supposedly automatically turn the gas on when you unplug make sure your light is not blinking if it's blinking you have a problem so check that you may want to turn this down a little bit if you're using up your gas but that's the main thing if that it's blinking it ain't lit your refrigerator is not going to be cold in our case we have these two chairs here we have a slide out there and a slide out there so if you push them in they're going to smash the chairs so they must be secured we turn them sideways tuck them in and there is little places you can tie stuff down and that will keep it from rocking and rolling we just set these up inside of the chair turn everything around set the lamp down once again secure the area so your slide outs can travel in and out freely now while you're on shore power, you're probably going to use electricity for your uh, water tank. Now you can switch it to gas and burn up your gas. But when I'm traveling, I don't turn it on at all. I don't need hot water going down the road. 
these are gonna you're gonna check your black tanks and all that once you've emptied them to make sure they're empty you're gonna want to walk around your whole RV checking for obstructions before you do anything like I wouldn't want to leave my dog's blanket hanging there I wouldn't want to leave the sign hanging on the side of my RV that stuff will all be put away but you're gonna to want to walk around and make sure everything is put up in its place before you fold in your slide outs anything you want to check make sure no branches has fallen down you got up there on top of your slide out in my case I have the little awnings on top of the slide outs that don't usually happen but it could so you just walk around make sure there's no skunks or anything living under your house while you're there then you're ready for the next step you know I want to unhook your cable you don't want that dragging behind you you can also unhook that from your main supply on your RV pole or whatever they want to call it. Hey, before you unhook your hose, you're going to want to make sure you turn it off. Then you're going to want to let a little pressure out. And then you can take your hose off. These little filters are a good idea, they're not too spendy. Now that it's unhooked here, now you unhook your hose, which is in here. Mine's got a quick release deal on it, just like so. So that's done. Now you're going to want to flush your tanks. You're going to want to open your tanks. Okay, we're going to open up the black tank first. By pulling this. Yours may be located in a different area, but now you'll see I have a clear connection there, and that ain't clear coming out. We let that drain till it's totally empty. Then you might want to flush it out, and that would be with this one here it says sewer flush not all uh, units have those and usually you're going to want to use your a different hose See that? we'll use that one instead of the drinking hose now that we have the no fuss flush hooked up we turn on the water here and once again we go over here and watch that until clear water comes out. And I don't even see any water yet. There she's coming. Let me try tighten this up thing a little bit. To all the leaks in this hose, I think it's time for a new hose. But it is working. There is clear water coming through there. Every once in a while you can see a little something. We're gonna let that run for a while until it's clear. Once it's nothing going down through there, we got it. I use these little balls for everything. Little bungee balls. I don't know what you call them, but they work great. Hold your cords together. Well, now that that has drained and it's clear, we know it's pretty clean. So we shut the black valve up. Now we open up the gray tank. The reason we do that is to flush anything out of the pipes. Out of this line. So the last water it goes through it is relatively clean. You can see the tank was rather full. We leave that closed during the parking of the RV unless it gets full. That way we have plenty of water to rinse out that hose. And as soon as that's done, I'm going to take the hose off, disconnect it, 
and put the clear spacer up and coil the hose up and stick it in its storage area. Now we've shut the gray tank. We're going to close all the little ports and holes here. Now if you want to, you're going to winterize it. You would drain all this. But we're not winterizing it right now and I'll show you how to do that later. Now we just start zipping in the sides and back in the pickup to it. Time to throw your trash away and start putting your trash cans up and anything else you got outside. Let's get it stored away. On my unit, it's, we got a, a little buttons we push for everything. Remote controls. You can do everything manually. But what we're going to do is we're going to get it all in. We're going to set this up on rooms. We're putting the rooms in first. And I'm just going to turn them all on because they will go in in sequence once they're all turned on. We ready to go? Okay, now we've checked everything and we got that on. Now we just push the button. And each one of these will go in by themselves, and that one's in, the next one will go in, and so on. All with this. You notice I'm still plugged in because I'm using their power, along with my battery power, to move all these in. That one's going in, and now this one over here will start as soon as that one's in. And my wife's in there double checking everything, make sure nothing is in the way, including herself. Needs a little oil. Now that we got the slide outs in, We will bring up the stabilizers, which works the same way. You just turn it on to the rear stabilizer like so. Turn these off just to make sure that nothing does nothing. We don't want, and they're off. So now we hit the button again, and the stabilizer should come up. I got a little problem right there, that wire. Next time I'm pulled over, I'm gonna to have to get underneath that thing and fix that. It's come loose from its mooring. That's pretty boring. But you see what the hell that does. This right tank here I've opened up. This is a drain for my fresh water tank. It's just left open. Sewer hose is put up inside of there. Now that that's up, we'll come up here and I'll show you this, but it's not. This is my own invention. I like it. As you can see, this is lower than that. So what I got to do, I made, made this little measuring stick that hooks right into there. So now all I got to do is I've switched this to the landing gear. Now I just got to lift the landing gear up. And I have this marked where it is level that plate is level with that plate so I just got to take it up to that it's been marked in other places it also has inches on it in case I need to write down the inch like if you're at an, uh, uh, in a parked in a hole or something it won't be the same as on flat ground once this reaches where I've marked it It'll be the same height as that. We just back under it and we're ready to go. And right at the bottom of that piece of tape, there is it. Now we're going to back under it. Okay, as you can see, we're all plugged in. Safety line's hooked up. Make sure it ain't hooked up on anything also. 
because it will pull your brakes on going down the road. And it's clear, so we're good to go. Okay, now that you're backed up to the pickup and hooked up, you can start lowering the legs. I mean, lifting the legs up in. You always want to make sure that that pin is across there. You can see it there. And then that handle is pushed in. Each one is different. But that's what you want to make sure is hooked up. You can hear the old truck groaning. She's up, about up there. Then you're going to push them pins in. Lift your legs up. And that's it right there. Well, you're going to want to unblock your wheels, that's for sure. This one here is a homemade device, but it works just as well. It just squeezes between the two tires. And you pop it right out. It's starting to rain, so I had to do everything in a hurry. If you've seen one of my YouTubes, you've seen me build this thing. This is pretty cool. False floor, my hoses, and the electrical cable store up under it, along with this extra sewer line. Check out my videos for more on that. I'm getting out of the rain. Now we do a walk around, and it's a good thing, see? This one isn't locked. We want them all locked. For no other reason, keep burglars from running beside you and uh, stealing stuff as you go down the road. I hate to have that happen. So, we check on all everything now. You check all the locks, make sure they're locked. You check the doors, they're shut. Canopies are all up, nothing's dragging. Check it all. Once you're checked, and we are, we're out of here, because I'm tired of being rained on. Still draining a little water, that ain't gonna hurt nothing. Sorry about the jerkiness, but there's a big ass storm brewing somewhere, I can hear the thunder, there it is. I ain't gonna be under that. So, that's what you do. Check it out. Make sure these are locked. That one's locked. I can tell by the key up and down. This one doesn't lock. That's where your gas is. The gas is turned on, on the refrigerator, and everything's working. We're gonna pull forward, pull them blocks out from under there, throw them in the back of the truck, and we're out of here. had to be filmed in a hurry because this massive storm was headed my way.